Morning folks, this is Rick and Fred. We're going for a ride to the coffee, we're going for, for a coffee run because we're running out of coffee. So we're heading out. We went on our walk already. What time is it? It's 8.20. We're running a little behind. So it's a beautiful morning here. Southwestern Pennsylvania, suburbs of the Berg, it. Listen to some Larry Carlton music, that's good. Oh, Fred, you like Larry Carlton? It's a little chilly. I don't know what it is. I think it's like, oh, it says 56 degrees. Of course, that's with the car moving and all. It's kind of chilly. Played a yoga gig last night. That was fun. I used my Taylor GS Mini. I love that guitar. And I used my PRS SE Soap Bar 2. It was great. Listen to Larry Jam. Even on acoustic guitar, he's the master. I can play like him. So I'm going to try to play a gig this next weekend. It, is, it should be really fun. We'll see what works. Our bass player can't make it. Our fill-in bass player can't make it. Our percussionist can make it. Maria can't make it for guitar. So it's going to be Kendall and I going to be me and Kendall. Let's fix that. Because that's an overcorrection that people do. Saying I when you shouldn't use I. You wouldn't say it's going to be Kendall and I. You would say it's going to be me and Kendall. How do you know that? Because you strip down the sentence and you take out the other person. You don't say it's going to be I. No. You say it's going to be me. Anyway, I digress particular for that and I mess it up all the time anyway. So Kendall and I and Alex, our percussionist, who uh, we're happy to have. And I'm unsure whether he's going to play the cajon, you know, the box that you sit on and smack with your hands, or he's going to maybe play his electric drum kit. I don't know. So we're going to have rehearsal on Tuesday and Thursday this week. I've decided that I want to play mostly electric guitar. I want to play clean sounding, but wet, you know, like lots of reverbs, a little chorus, delay, maybe some tremolo on some stuff. That's how I want to play. Kendall's gonna sing beautifully, beautifully, of course. She'll sing dude. Freddie, it's getting chilly. We gotta just keep going, buddy. I wonder if YouTube will pick this up as copyright material. <laughs> sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. You know, they picked up um, Pie Party by Jim Campolongo, and I thought that that was pretty obscure. Sorry, Jim. You know you're one of my favorite guitar players. Jim Campolongo. If you haven't heard Jim Campolongo, I recommend you take a listen to old Jim. He's uh, fantastic. Maybe I'll play some Jim on the way back. Oh, I hate to take off Larry Carlton. Then. Hi, buddy. Fred's going to get a puppuccino this morning. He's very excited about this. Today's Saturday. I love Saturdays. Because I don't have to test software on Saturdays. Isn't that something amazing? I don't have to get on phone calls with people. In fact, 
I can do some guitar stuff. I have to mow my lawn at some point because I have to go away tomorrow to go to Boston. But then I'll be back on Tuesday for my usuals. Testing software. Hanging with the dog. There's a deer. There's a couple deer. Oh, Freddy. Back to the gig. I'm also going to try to use a looper pedal. Now, it's challenging. It's not challenging for me because I know what I'm looping. It's challenging for percussionists to follow the looper pedal. I get that. But I think Alex can step up and do it. That way, old Rick can play some solos. Because guitar solos is what it's all about. Let's not forget that. That's the whole meaning for looper pedals. Come on. Why were looper pedals invented? Didn't invent them for singers. Certainly didn't invent them for drummers. They've got four limbs going. Uh, piano players, they've already got looping capabilities in their keyboards and whatnot. Some degree. No, they're created for guitar players because we love to play solos. And we don't always have somebody to back us up on those solos because, well, the rest of the world hasn't caught up with the fact that guitar solos are cool. <laughs> They are cool, Fred. Don't you hear Larry Carlton? He makes whole CDs of guitar solos. It's a bus. I know, there's a bus right there. Fred's like, what is that car? <laughs> It's a bus. It's full of people. It's full of people going to work here. Like the people who are going to make your puppuccino. All right. So we're almost here. At the coffee conglomerate. Where we can get a puppuccino. Turning into the parking lot. And guess what, Fred? The drive through is super packed. Oh no, I just definitely screwed this, dude. I'm pulling out. He's not going to be able to do it. Sorry, dude. Oh, look, he's got a dog in his car, too, Fred. He's got a nice dog in there. He's doing the same thing that we are. He's running out to get drinks. Pumpkin spice, look, salted caramel mocha frappuccino. I'm not drinking that. She wants a pumpkin spice latte. I want a coffee. That's getting very anxious. If you sit like that, you're going to need to put on your seatbelt because the light is going to ding. You understand that, right? You do. Okay. You're a very good boy. Spinach, feta, cage free egg, white wrap. Uh, none of this stuff is gluten free. I can't have it. Well, don't get upset. Good morning. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. What can I get served for you today? So, well, I'm going to need a um, grande. Pumpkin spice latte, please. Okay. With whipped cream. Okay. Low fat. No, wait. I'm sorry. Non-fat milk. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, and then also just uh, the venti, whatever your bold coffee is today. Okay. And then I would also like two pounds of Guatemala Antigua ground on number six. Okay. And may I have a puppuccino for my pup? Yes. Yeah, sure. Got anything else I can get for you? 
Nope, that's it. Alrighty, looks like it's going to be 3582 all together and we will see you up here. Thank you so much. That's a lot of money for forgetting to buy coffee. That's alright, it's a treat. Look at this dog, look how good looking he is. Boy, is he a cute dog. Larry's getting ready to tear it up in this one. It's a little bit soft jazzy for now. I can tell he's got the dumbbell cranked. Look, Starbucks has these pictures of people. And they're harvesting coffee beans. I don't know if this is good. How much do you think those people are getting paid? Probably not much. They're not in Seattle, I can tell you that. But are you slobbering on my floor? Lick your lips. No, Fred. Okay, we got the number right there. Alright, now hold on. Can I have your signature? Yeah, absolutely. Fred, I got a sign. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Crazy people driving, Fred. Look at this. A puppuccino for the pup. He's very excited. That's why let's turn Larry back on. They're very nice at the Starbucks. I'm pulling out. Come on, you can move up. You've got lots of space. Don't worry about that. It's your puppuccino. I was right, Larry's killing it. Careful. Oh, saxophone solo. It's not that I don't like saxophone solos. My father was a saxophone player. He was great. I love Charlie Parker. I love Sonny Rollins. I love Wayne Shorter. Especially love Wayne Shorter. Coltrane? Who doesn't love Coltrane? But this stuff, I don't like this. Uh, see that? Ugh. The guitar solo album. Oh my god, you almost drank the whole thing. There you go. Now. I wonder what's more dangerous. Drinking and driving, texting and driving, or feeding your dog a puppuccino while driving.
got it. Oh yeah. Wow, buddy. Did a pretty good job on this. That's it. You're done. You're done. Hey, it's empty. You did a good job, buddy. Okay. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so we're going to make a right. Stop on red. Alright, see? You're sitting. And now the stupid... The stupid thing is dinging. This has really been a nice morning trip for Fred. Got to get a puppuccino. Need to put on your dog restraint. Ha-ha! Now you're all strapped in, boo. Guys, this, this is so freaking cute. Look at this dog. He's in his chair with his seatbelt on. When have you ever seen such a cute dog in your life? Okay, we're back home. Hope you all have a good day. It's a wonderful Saturday. Peace. Bless you.